Okay, we've looked at the physical controls on the microscope, the, dissect, the Leica dissecting microscope itself. Now let's uh, play with the uh, with the program. So on the desktop in the computer lab, the LAS version 4.0, that's your Leica imaging system. Double click on that, let that open. Uh, please be aware that unfortunately this uh, our our computer barely runs this, and so our Leica application suite uh, will crash occasionally. When it does, just uh, use Control Alt Delete, go to the Task Manager shut it down and restart it and then you'll be ready to go. Alright, so first thing you'll notice is that we actually do have a, a live image here. Uh, you can see there's there's my finger and we can move this this little penny around here and you want to make sure that you actually have that. Let's start looking at some tabs here. By the way, there's lots of controls on this. We don't use all of them, uh, so don't panic on that. So go to setup. Setup is, uh, these fir first three things are constant, so they're already set. This is the camera the eyepiece and the camera adapter, so we're going to click on objective. This is the one that you have to tell the uh, the microscope. Currently we don't have an extra objective on the scope and you can see it says none so objective is 1.0 uh, so that's since that's what we have set up we're gonna we're gonna go to that. Uh, once we change objectives either the 0.63, the 1.6 or 2.0 then you'll have to come back in and manually tell the scope again that you've changed that. Uh, go to the acquire menu and uh, you can see that what we're gonna do now is we can actually take a picture of this. Um, I can, there's a zoom, I'm using the zoom, the manual zoom on the scope, and I've gone to about two and a half times. Notice that when I zoom, that this little scale bar up here isn't changing. Uh, you have to actually tell the scope uh, how much you're zooming. So in this particular case, I, I know from looking at the, the physical scope that I'm, I'm doubled the magnification, so I'm going to click two. Notice now my, my scale bar now indicates one millimeter instead of, instead of two, so that uh, we've made that adjustment. Uh, you can also get that by just sliding the bar, sliding the slider here, or you can actually uh, you can actually click right on the spot if you want. Easiest way is just to come in like this. Alright, so um, that scale bar, we got that by clicking on this annotation option. Now if you end up taking a picture and that scale bar does end up on your picture, you have to come under here and tell it you want the scale bar and you want it to show it and you want it merged and that, that should take care of that. Alright, so now how do you take a picture? Quite simply, this button down here on the bottom, you click Acquire Image. So I'm, I'm going to take an image. It's going to check my zoom. Say Acquire. We're going to acquire the image. And it should show up on the very bottom of our screen, which it does. And you can see the bright pink scale bar. All right, so there's our first image. So now you'll notice I'm moving the penny, but notice it's not actually moving because it's this image is locked in place. So what I have to do here is go ahead and tell the, tell the scope that I want to go live again. So I'm going to click on Acquire at the top. So there's my live image again, and so I've got good old Abe there. Let's zoom out, say all the way. I check on my scope, it says that's at 1.0. Put this on 1.0, and we should be able to take another image. Bingo. Double check the zoom. Go to acquire image, and then at the bottom, we should get our second image, which it is, and there's our scale bar. So, so all is good. All right, so what else can you do on this? Well, I'm going to go back to Acquire. In addition to there being a Microscope button tab here, there's also a Camera tab. Now, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble on this tab if you're not careful. Um, but you can you definitely play around with it because here's a trick on this. Under Input Options here, you'll notice that there's a Reset Camera. So you can always come in here no matter how you monkey this up and hit the Reset. It'll get you right back to where you were before and we'll let it, let it do that for a second. Alright, so uh, so now what we're going to do is I'll show you some other things here. This is auto exposure. Now the problem people have mainly is going to be with exposures. Now you can cycle through the lights, turn on different combinations of lights, and the auto exposure pretty much takes care of that. So I'll just turn all the lights on, it'll take it a second, and it fixes that. But let's say that you want to play with the exposure. You can turn this auto exposure off, and when you do that, under exposure adjust, you can actually manually adjust the exposure yourself. And strangely enough, this does um, need to be done from, from time to time. It's actually actually quite remarkable how often that happens. So I'm going to put it back on auto exposure again. Uh, if it works, use it. If it doesn't work, come in here, just turn it off, and then you can come in here and you can you can play with the exposure. But again, what you're trying to do is get get the image that looks the best to you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add a different objective lens here. So there's good old Abe again. Okay, but I've, I've made some changes, haven't I? So I'll go back to my setup. I'm going to add the objective will tell it's a 2x lens. They want to go back to acquire. So now I'm going to zoom in all the way. And this time, you'll notice that we can go a lot further, twice as, twice as high. 
Also, there's a little bit of lag in the camera, so just be patient and make little moves. I'm going to start to focus here, and i got to let, let the camera catch up with me. I want those bumpies there. Okay, cool. All right, so now I'm going to tell the camera, the computer that I'm using 8 time magnification. That's 200 microns there. All right, now, I, and again, you just come in and take the picture here, acquire the picture. It double checks to make sure you have the zoom set. Hit acquire. And that picture should show up at the at the bottom of the uh, of the image gallery. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, remember, just you for setup, you have to tell it which objective you're using. Acquire is the setting you want when you're going to take a picture. Uh, remember, you can look at the microscope set tab and tell it the magnification. You can go to camera tab, and you can play with the exposure if you want to. There's some other things here that you can do. Uh, other under input options, remember if you screw things up, you can always reset the camera there. Which is which is really nice, um, and then uh, to see the pictures, you can actually go to browse. Now let's say these last couple of pictures, I want to save them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them here. So I want that one down to that one. I'm going to right click on that and go to export, and then I simply uh, browse. It doesn't say it, but it's right there. There's your browse, and I'm simply going to go to wherever I want to save these pictures. In this case, I'll put them on the desktop. And I hit OK, and it sends them there. And of course, you're going to want to put these in your folder on the S drive. And there they go. All right, so uh, once you're finished, what you're going to do is you're going to close this program. Uh, it says, do you want to exit? You're going to say yes. It often crashes here. Uh, if it should happen to crash, of course, you know the old way to get out of this. You do the Control-Alt-Delete. You go to the Task Manager. You click on Leica, and you tell it you want to shut down.